can give him a couple of minutes to read a couple of pieces. That's uh, Sanka Sin, and then tell us a little bit about your okay. Read a couple of poems, and we'll love to hear him. Looking forward. Hi, guys. How are you? How are you doing? Doing great. I uh, hope I'm audible quite okay, right? It's fine. Yes. So uh, uh, it's a very interesting uh, show today. Uh, like I have been getting a lot of great ideas from different people across the globe. Um, yeah, before I start reciting, I would like to uh, also give my view on uh, like why uh, like two or three years back, uh, I also kind of um, get back to the writing area. Uh, like the thing is like, yes, definitely um, as you slowly age, uh, for me, I'm, I'm giving my view. Like, um, okay, you have kind of have you have a family. You have reached maybe your milestones, which you have achieved uh, your um, like uh, milestones, which are really uh, set for 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 your uh, life. You have achieved them, but still, you see that uh, days have been numbered, and uh, uh, things are kind of. Um, like coming to, to an end. I mean, you can see uh, the end of the tunnel, maybe. And um, then you realize, oh, what should I leave back in this uh, beautiful world? Um, I cannot take anything along with me. Uh, I'm, but I have really uh, uh, learned a lot of things, and I have gained a lot of experiences. I have been, I, I've been really understanding people, people's mind. So uh, what? Uh, what if if I just convert them into some uh, like uh, writing and keep them for the next generation? So then I think this this thought um, comes and you feel like okay to leave behind something even even though you are not there. So uh, to me, I I I kind of came back to writing because uh, with the vision that okay let's re uh, keep something uh, behind in this world and and luckily. I was uh, kind of appreciated by a lot of people, and <coughs> then the journey again. Uh, <coughs> so, um, keeping this thing in mind, I will just read a, a poem from my book. Uh, it's like a collection of feelings uh, published in India, Kolkata. And now, uh, actually, I'm sitting now in, in Germany uh, because I stay here. Uh, I've, I've been uh, like uh, staying here for last uh, almost 19 years now. And uh, that's why I kind of come across um, uh, writing a book in, in two different languages, English, Bengali, and, and German language. Um, so keeping this immortality alive, uh, I would just like to read a poem. Uh, it's called Immortality of the Unknown. Being practical, lost are those who never come back. Craving heart, endless, and fall back. But yes. Yes, they do come in lost memories. Remembrance, visions truly bear life's best histories. Look at me. Will I get another life? Will I ever come back to my garden of hope and listen to my favorite track? The touch of comfort is what I always miss. The hope to re-exist will fade and adequately cease. Some say there's rebirth, you get another chance. Others say fall in love with your present life with true romance. Live immortal in all your work, desiring to exist even after life has withdrawn. At least you can live in minds of many, even though you are long gone. The question of one's identity crisis, the sole purpose of life, had no conclusions to reach. I could possibly arrive. Which God can answer, which science can prove, the concept of immortality, which we could possibly approve. <coughs> Ages have always searched the truth of life's mission, the truth which we lose into but not read, nor listen. Let be me remain immortal in all unknown perceptions. <coughs> At least something to relive into to satisfy all immortal obsessions. 
thanks a lot so um, this speaks about uh, like why did we actually come um, to this planet and what is actually our identity i mean uh, who are we and let's say for me who am i i mean it's a it's a very popular uh, question i think everybody at some point of life um, really have to um, ask himself or herself this question what is his or her identity and um, where really this journey goes there are a lot of religious answers to this there are a lot of scientific uh, explanations to this but uh, those are all theories and unless and until it really happens in your life in your understanding in your consciousness um, it's very difficult to really uh, uh, like kind of establish that some really believe on faith and move forward and take it as a positive energy and a positive energy and uh, move forward uh, but i think this is a very important question who am i yeah well thank you sanka for your insights and your poetry